The next question says the coefficients of the r minus 1th, rth and r plus 1th terms in the expansion of x plus 1 whole power n are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5, find n and r. Okay, there's a condition which is given, right? Very interesting question. Okay, such kind of question have been asked in the examination over and over again. Not only the board examination, in the J examination as well. Especially J main people keep on asking such questions, right? J advanced people, okay, they have moved beyond this, right? They used to ask such questions at one particular point of time. They may ask again in a some complicated form, but such simple questions, such simple questions, yeah. Uh, there's a bit of calculation, except for that, there's no concept, there's no difficult concept involved over there. So this is a J main type of question as well. The coefficients of the r minus 1th, rth and r plus 1th terms in the expansion of x plus 1 whole power n are in the ratio this. So we are concerned with x plus 1 whole power n and in this we are concerned with tr plus 1 first of all. Okay, general term will be tr plus 1 but it is given, it is given that, let's focus on what is given for a minute. It is given that the coefficients of t, the coefficients of r minus 1th Rth and R plus 1th terms are in some particular ratio, okay. Let's try to find the coefficient first, yes. So, Tr plus 1 will be equal to NCR x power n minus R and 1 power R. 1 power R is simple, that's 1 only, right. So, coefficient of R plus 1th term is simply NCR. Can you observe that? Yes. The ratio coefficients of r minus 1th is to coefficient of rth is to coefficient of r plus 1th. This ratio is given to be 1 is to 3 is to 5. Now, what does this imply? This implies that this coefficient of r plus 1th term is ncr, which is pretty simple. Okay, before that, you'll have nc, one term before this, you'll have ncr minus 1. And one term before that, you'll have NCR minus 2. Is that okay? Yes. Can you observe that easily? Once you observe that, this is 1 is to 3 is to 5. Okay. This is 1 is to 3 is to 5. And now, 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 how many variables do you think are there? There are two unknowns, N and R. There are two unknowns, that is N and R. And how many equations do you think have been given? If you observe, you can compare these two and these two. Pick up these two ratios. Let's pick them up. So the first condition, first condition, the first equation will be ncr minus 2 over ncr minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 3. Yes. Another condition would be related to ncr minus 1 upon ncr which is equal to 3 upon 5. Do you observe that? Yes. Ratio of first two terms, ratio of last two terms. Yes. And we picked up those two equations in terms of the two unknowns n and r. Let's find the values of n and r after this. What will this simplify into? This is n factorial upon r minus 2 factorial. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's write it in the next line since we have less space remaining over here. Okay. Let's write it in the next line. So this implies that n factorial over r minus 2 factorial of the numerator times difference of the two n minus r plus 2 actually this will simplify to this right that's the first term and the denominator denominator will look like n factorial denominator's denominator will go at the top this is r minus 1 factorial and the difference of these two that is n minus r minus 1 which will be n minus r plus 1 factorial is equal to 1 upon 3. Is that okay? Yes. We see that n factorial will get cancelled. Yes. r minus 1 and r minus 2. Now r minus 2 is smaller than this. One unit is smaller than this. So there's a r minus 2 factorial hidden in this. This will be r minus 1 times r minus 2 factorial. Yes. So this and this will get cancelled. r minus 1 will remain. n factorial and factorial will get cancelled. Yes. What about the other term? This and this are just one unit apart. This is smaller. This is bigger. This will be bigger therefore n minus r plus 2 will remain over here yes and from here you can observe that r minus 1 upon n minus r plus 2 is equal to 1 upon 3 once you know this much you can simplify this this is 3 r minus 3 is equal to n minus r plus 2 or you can say that 4 r is equal to n plus 5 this is the first equation which we were targeting 
from the first condition we get the first equation let's use the second condition to get the second equation how do we get that this simplifies to what this simplifies to let's take a look at this this is n factorial upon r minus 1 factorial okay and difference of these will be n minus r plus 1 factorial the denominator is ncr which is n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial is equal to 3 over 5 this is what you get let's cancel a few terms over here i see that n factorial will go r factorial and r minus 1 factorial will leave out the r at the numerator okay and you have this and this this is a bigger term this is a bigger term so n minus r plus 1 will remain over here observe observe what you get is r upon n minus r plus 1 is equal to 3 upon 5 let's cross multiply 5r is equal to 3n minus 3r plus 1 do you observe that 3n minus 3r plus 3 right and let's bring that 3r over here we get a 8r is equal to 3n plus 3 that's the other equation so the first equation and the second equation is what we get can we solve these two equations further to get the values of r and n yes very easily this is let's call this first equation let's call this the second equation and let's solve these two equations over here right? there's plenty of space over here for us to solve these equations let's do that 4r and 8r okay so let's multiply that first equation by 2 and uh, they'll be equal right so 2n plus 10 will be equal to right hand side that is 3n plus 3 what have we done we have multiplied the first equation by 2 the left hand side will become same and the right hand side will also be same 2n plus 10 will be equal to this so from here n will be equal to n will be equal to 7 okay the value of n that we get is 7 what about the value of r the value of r can be obtained from the first equation therefore 4r is equal to 7 plus 5 which is 12 implies r equals 3 this is what i get so the value of n and r were asked n is 7 r is 3 that's the answer for this question over here is that all yes that's all in this question as you can clearly see behind me Right. calculations as i said calculations are there but other than that concepts from the point of view of concepts there's very little concept involved over here that's it we just have to write the general term write the ratios and from ratios we form two equations the forming of equations will take some amount of time but other than that it's all very simple is that okay yes that's okay okay do we need anything else in this no that's the final answer for this question